In this video, we'll be taking a look at comparing some SD cards for use in a Canon 6D camera. We'll see how long it takes the camera to empty its buffer onto the camera to get a comparison of how fast these cards can be written to in that camera. We'll be starting with the Transcend 16 gig card. It doesn't state a, uh, a speed on the card itself. I'll be taking seven snaps that will turn on the buffer light. When the buffer light turns off, that means the data in the buffer of the camera has written to the card, giving us a pretty good gauge of how fast these cards are. And that gave us a 17.7 .7 seconds for the regular Transcend card. Next we'll try the PNY Professional, which boasts a time of 20 megs a second. The reason why I'm using seven photos is to make sure that each card gets the same number of continuous photos. And this card posts about 9.6 seconds. PNY Professional card. Next we'll do the SanDisk Ultra card, which boasts 30 megs a second, and see how long that will take to clear the buffer light. And this posted about 18.6 seconds. SanDisk Ultra card. Next I'll be trying out this Polaroid card, which boasts 35 megs a second. Now the reason why I'm not using automatic burst mode is that sometimes we'll have more pictures than other burst mode times. So this is the more fair way to go. Polaroid has posted a time of 5.8 seconds. Next we'll try the Transcend 600X card. with this posting a time of just over nine seconds for the Transcend 600 times card. Now we'll go ahead and test out the SanDisk Extreme card, which boasts a time of 45 megs per second. And that posts a time of about 4.4 seconds for the SanDisk Extreme. And lastly, we'll be trying out this SanDisk Extreme Pro, which boasts a time of 95 megabytes per second. And this boasts a time of about 4.3 seconds for the SanDisk Extreme card. We'll also take a look at continuous video recording speeds using 1080p at 30 frames a second. Now in the video recording for the SanDisk Ultra card, I've noticed something incredibly disappointing. They just can't hold up much more than 17 or 18 seconds of straight 1080p video. We're at about 24 seconds and that's when the video has stopped, which makes the SanDisk Ultra cards basically useless when you're recording low compression HD 1080p 30 frames a second video. I'm actually disappointed by these cards. Now all the other cards aside from the SanDisk Ultra in the video tests were able to maintain an HD 1080p video stream for quite a long time. So much time that I pretty much gave up and, and stopped them. But um, the SanDisk Ultras basically worthless for HD video. And from the very poor times that they posted on the, the buffer tests, they are very disappointing cards indeed. Even the Transcend 16 gig card, it is a class 10, this held up with 1080p low compression video with sound, much better than the SanDisk, and its times with the buffer clearing were a good second faster. So here's the lineup. Surprisingly good showing from the 32 gig Polaroid. And for $15 right now on Amazon, February 2014, 
is an incredible deal. The buffer time at 5.8 seconds is, is crazy fast, it's the third fastest in the whole lineup and for the price is just amazing. The biggest disappointment is the 16 gig SanDisk Ultra card, the slowest of the whole pack, and at $13, it just can't hold up. Plus, it gives out on video somewhere around 20 seconds of 1080p HD video, so not so good on this one. The PNY actually posted really well as well. The star of the pack is the Extreme Pro. However, with twice the price as the Extreme, there's just really no reason for, for me to buy any more of the, the Pro cards. Um, the speeds are just not that much faster than the Extreme card. I would say these two are probably the best bang for your buck, um, but I will say that I have not tested the uh, Sony cards or the Kingston cards to see what sort of times they post. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been helpful.